big, juicy, muscular man. Smile for the camera. Smile. Mwah. Now I know what you're thinking. No, this title is not clickbait. Me and my dogs are actually gonna run a marathon today. Well, technically they're each running their own half marathon and I'm running a marathon as I handle both of them. And we're not gonna do it all at once. I'm gonna split it up into three separate runs for each of them within the same 24 hours. This morning, each of them is doing five miles. So that's 10 miles total for me. The afternoon run will be 3.1 miles each for each of them, which is 6.2 for me. And then tonight when it gets dark out, they're each gonna do another five miles, which will total the 26.2 miles it takes for a marathon. Now, this is not something that I would normally feel comfortable doing, nor would I advise anyone to do this kind of mileage with their dog. However, I just ran a marathon in March and my dogs ran with me every single day to train for that marathon. They ran for four months leading up to it. They put in each dozens and dozens of aerobic and anaerobic hours running by my side. Kato, my long-haired German Shepherd, has put in a 10K run before, all in one go. Atlas's longest run has been five miles all in one go. So they're not, they're not sedentary dogs. They're both extremely active with high drive. Um, and I've kept them active since they were puppies. So, and for instance, a Rottweiler does not have a physique to be a long distance runner. Their bodies just are not programmed to run long distances. So doing something like this with Atlas, my Rottweiler, is something I would only do <laughs> you know, once in a lifetime. And this is that one time in his lifetime where we're gonna do it. And I'm being very careful to listen to my dog's bodies and watch their, watch how they're performing to make sure that this is safe for them because a dog, a dog is like a horse. It'll just push itself until its heart explodes, which is, a good thing in the working dog world, but not, it's not something you would want <laughs> in, you know, your, your best companion's life. So, for instance, Kato and I, I just switched Kato out for Atlas, and Kato only made it about four and a half miles before he was really dragging, he wanted to walk, he said to run, and so I listened to his body, I switched him out early instead of going the whole entire, um, the whole entire five miles. And I'll make up that last mile with him a little later when he's restored his energy. Alice just finished his five. Come here, can you sit? Can you sit? Let me sit now. Let me see that, that frothy mouth. Oh, that's such a handsome boy. That's such a handsome guy. I'm gonna switch them out because I'll let Atlas get some water. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna switch Atlas and Kato out because Kato only did four and a half miles earlier and that's why Atlas went five from four and a half to nine and a half. But we don't run a charity here and I expect Kato to make his last half mile up and I'm not gonna make Atlas do it for him. So I'm gonna switch them out, do this last half mile and that's 10 miles. 10.02. 10.02. He finished up strong. He's gonna take, steal all the salt from my face. Good job, buddy. Ooh, okay, so for, for breakfast, I have got 
four pieces of toast and five whole eggs on top of them smeared with ketchup. I've got a protein shake with just like milk, two scoops of protein, um, 150 grams of strawberries, 120 grams of blueberries, and coffee. I'm gonna eat this. The dogs haven't eaten yet because they're both still huffing and puffing. And I don't know if you know this, but you shouldn't feed your dogs when they're huffing and puffing or they've just did strenuous exercise or are about to do strenuous ex exercise because either their stomach can turn over and flip, which is not good, or they can just throw it all up. So I'm gonna let them cool off for about 45 minutes to an hour and then I'll feed them. Okay, it is three o'clock. I've got some water, I've got some BPN electrolytes that I'm gonna add to the water and mix it up drink this so it can set in before I go for round two of the run. I haven't drank any of this since my marathon because I haven't, this is my first technically long distance run since marathon day. Hmm. The flavor of this is salted watermelon. And I never had salted watermelon growing up as a kid. I heard my friends who did it, but I just ate normal watermelon. But it is super delicious. I'm going to quickly drive to the gas station and buy a couple bags of ice because my housemate and I bought a kiddie pool for the dogs and we've been filling it up. And I think that after this midday run, the dogs would really enjoy it if um, to cool off from the afternoon heat, if I fill it up with water and put some ice into it that they could lay down and I'll also hop in as well so I can cool off. Um, but it's going to be 3.1 miles for each of them, 6.2 total. Let's get it. Currently taking a little walk break with Kato. We're at 1.25 miles right now out of his 3.1 he needs to do. Come here, buddy. Car's coming. A car's coming, buddy. Come on. So we're over a third of the way there. And uh, I think this is going to be the hardest run for both the boys today because the sun is out. It's not overwhelmingly warm, but they both have fur coats. And I'm aware of that, and that's why I have an ice bath waiting for them. Um, Kato's doing good. But uh, something just... I was, I was running with Kato, and there was this, there was this, woman, this woman pushing a stroller. And as I'm running by, I'm like, oh, that's, that's so cute. Like, it's such a, such a great day to go for a walk with your baby. <clears throat> Lo and behold, I pass her in the stroller in this like ferocious chihuahua starts like barking up a storm trying to rip out of the mesh, the mesh um, wall of the stroller and <laughs> Kato literally, Kato almost crapped his pants when we passed by because I don't think he was expecting a dog to sneak up on him like that. Make sure I'm being quiet so she can't hear me. Anyway, if you're the kind of person that goes for a walk and decides to put your dog in a stroller, we could never be friends. This. I'm gonna pour this next bucket on top of Kato's coat. I know he's gonna hate it, but he's gonna thank me later because it's gonna cool him down. I'm about to lose my brain, tell me who gon' save me. If I place my best on you Generous. 
still need to run Atlas for his 3.1 miles, but I'm gonna sit out here with Kato for a couple minutes and let him play in the kiddie pool and cool off. And then when Atlas is done, <clears throat> I'll put the ice in the bath and let both of them use it with the cold, cold water. Finished 6.2. Atlas, can you sit? That's a good guy. Let me see you. Hey, sit. Sit. That's a good guy. Stay. Oh my gosh. It's ice bath time, buddy. We only have a total of 10 miles left. Five for each of the boys for the night. Look at Atlas. Phone. Went straight, straight to the pool. Here, let me get this. Let me get this off you. Yeah. Only 10 miles left. I don't care if we have to freaking walk all 10 of them. We are gonna finish this marathon together. Me, Kato, and Atlas. Making himself at home. Oh, Kato. Kato's cooling off. Did the shark get you, buddy? So for that, for that final run, what I what I ended up doing was I run in a one mile loop and I could just tell Atlas and Kato were tired, the sun was out, it was hot, um, and I didn't want them to get heat exhaustion. So what I did was, there's four straightaways on the loop that we run, and what I did was two of those straightaways are covered in shade by bordering trees, and the other two are in direct sunlight. So what I did was I had them run, run the straightaways that have shade covering, and I let them walk the straightaways that had direct sunlight. And, uh, it ended up making the mileage slower, like it was between an 11 to a 13 minute mile pace, but like, who cares? Like I'm, I'm out here in the outdoors, spending quality time with my dogs, who I love, building my bond and relationship with them, and that is priceless. I haven't said it in this video yet, but I just finished my first year in law school, and I'm extremely proud of myself, it was, so much hard work, um, a lot of late nights, a lot of early mornings, and I'm finally done with exams, and I only have about two weeks before I need to start my internship for the summer working at a law firm. And so I, I literally only get two weeks to relax and um, spend time with my dogs before doing that internship and then going right back into my second year in law school. And so I, I went into this telling myself, like, I just want to spend as much time with them and make as many memories as we can. And they're both having an absolute blast running today. And I am as well. We're going to enjoy this pool time. We're going to cool off. And then I'm going to head over to my friend Nick's house. Uh, it was recently his birthday and I need to give him his present. Yeah. Then I'm going to come back when it's dark out around eight to nine-ish tonight, and we're gonna finish this run. Um, I think I'm gonna incorporate the straightaways again tonight. That way the dogs 
are able to both walk and run and they don't get exhausted, I'm sure that they're gonna be super tired. Come here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy boy. Kato is also getting neutered on May 10th, and today is today is the 8th. So in two days, he's getting neutered, and he's not going to be able to run for a couple weeks because he's going to have stitches. And so today's marathon or half marathon for him was kind of my present because Kato loves to run so much, and he's not going to be able to for a while. So I just figured I would give this to him both to celebrate me um, finishing law school and to kind of get all of his energy out before he goes to get surgery. Good job, Kay. Kato, Kato. Kato, buddy, you did a half marathon, buddy. He said, I don't really care. I just want to eat this grass right here. Come on, buddy. So Kato is done with his running for the day. He just clocked, he just clocked his last five miles which totals 13.1 miles on the day for him. 10 miles, done. Chugging some cranberry juice. Because it's all I have in the fridge. It is, it is midnight. So I'm gonna shower and go to bed and then talk about the run in the morning. Okay, so it is two days, no, three days after I did the run and my body is still recovering. I know the dogs are still recovering. Um, both of them perfectly fine, other than Kato, because <laughs> he just got neutered yesterday and let's just say he is not a fan of the cone. But yeah, we did it. Um, 26.2 miles for me, 13.1 for both of them. Started the day off with a 10 mile run, and then in the heat did a 6.2 mile run, and then finished out the night. I barely finished before midnight, but I did it. Um, me and Atlas finished his last five mile run, like, gosh, it was, it was almost midnight, because I, I filmed that last clip talking um at like 1203 so got it all in i'm i'm very proud kiddo don't look if you keep looking i'm gonna have to put the cone on you don't want the cone i might have to include a little clip at the end of this of him and his cone it's hilarious yesterday i felt really bad for putting him in the cone but now that I'm more removed from the surgery, I'm, I'm finding it somewhat comical. He's like he's like a bull in a china shop with that thing on. I mean, he he just bumps into everything like a bumper car. Anyway, I'm I'm very proud of both of the dogs for for doing that, and I'm proud, I'm kind of proud of myself because 26.2 miles isn't isn't necessarily easy to knock out in a single day. I'm very excited for this summer. I will be working uh, full time at a law firm. For three months however i will be pumping out some content hopefully weekly probably probably more like bi-weekly i'll be taking the dogs camping um i'm gonna be training for my iron man i'm launching a whole entire series called summer phoenix which is tailored around the iron man training as well as being a dog dad and a law school student working a legal job all sorts of fun stuff so yeah i'll see you in the next one <laughs> it's gonna be okay, buddy. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna heal. You're gonna heal, and then we're gonna go for a run? You wanna go for a run? No, we can't go right now. We gotta wait. Doctor said seven days, buddy.